work around the clock, basically, to provide coverage <laughs> you can count on. Many of us work some strange hours to accomplish our goal, and all of this plays a major role on our sleeping patterns. So our morning team took up a challenge to test an iPhone app. Sleep Cycle tracks how well you sleep and could show you something you didn't realize. Okay, with you, Action 7 News anchor Marissa May shows you what it takes to track your sleep. Working the overnight shift is a challenge. You've got to try to go to sleep when most people are still awake. Sleep is cherished, but we simply do not get enough of it. I get about four to five hours of sleep, but is it quality sleep? Well, we turned to an iPhone app to help measure my sleeping patterns. I also recruited my co anchor Todd Kurtz, meteorologist Eric Green, and reporter Angela Brower to take part in our sleeping test. The app is called Sleep Cycle. Now, every night you set the alarm and then you put the phone close to your pillow. There are sensors in an iPhone that track when you're moving. It even uses the microphone to hear if you snore. The app, it is easy to use, but I'll tell you what, in the next morning when you look at your sleep results, it can be a little demoralizing. So you wake up the next morning and you see this line graph and you see like where you're awake and you realize that's when I woke up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that's when I woke up to let the dog out. Well, this is what Todd's talking about. You see, when the line is near the top, you're awake. In the middle is sleeping and at the bottom is deep sleep or REM. Our favorite part, the app claims that it learns your sleep pattern and it will wake you gently when you're in a light sleep with a soothing tune. I used to set six, seven, eight alarms and now I only set the one. And it, and it really works for you. That's yeah. We all sat down with Dr. Barry Ramo, who looked over our sleeping patterns. Well, tonight on KOAT Action 7 News Live at 10, see who gets the best and worst sleep. Oh, That's my God. That, yeah, no, that is awful. Marissa Mays, KOAT Action 7 News. I think most of us feel that way, regardless of shift. We talk yeah. about it all the time, you know. That, that <laughs> app would reject me. Yeah, me too. I think I toss and turn a lot, but I still feel like when I sleep, I have no problems getting to sleep. I just don't stay asleep for that well, long. It would ask me, are you done? Yeah. Because you can't possibly have slept that little. I know. Yeah. 45 <laughs> minutes for Doug. I get a little more than that, yeah. but it doesn't feel like it. Nope. Our tips to help you sleep continue over on KOAT.com. We have a list of 10 ways you're sabotaging your sleep and how you can fix them. If you've got too much on your mind, well, that can keep you from getting the Z's you need. So a quick walk around a dark house may just be what the doctor ordered. For the other tips, head to our homepage to the media window at the top of the page. Well, we all have a favorite pair of jeans.